Hi everyone, this is Phil from Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my quick guide on where to find the Mimic Tear Ashes in Elden Ring. The Mimic Tear Ashes are an amazing item in Elden Ring, and they allow you to make a ghost copy of yourself to fight alongside you. You know, in case you don't have any friends, like... I do. It's fine. But anyway, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make your uh, way to Nokron the Eternal City. And uh, this uh, Site of Grace is only available, and Nokron the Eternal City is only available if you have defeated Star Scourge Redan. Now, once you start at the Site of Grace, you're simply going to run past pretty much everything in Nokron. And you're going to make your way first to a fog gate originally. So the, the gate I'm approaching here used to be a fog gate for me. And there is a boss in there that is not super hard to fight, but it's entirely depending on what you bring in, and I'll leave it at that. I don't want to spoil any more than I have to. But once you defeat the boss in here, uh, you'll then make your way to the left, and once you pass these gates, you are now able uh, to mount up and ride the rest of the way. And this walkway is, like, remarkably long, and uh, it doesn't seem like it is, but it does take a little bit. But once you get to the end of the walkway, you're going to hang a left, and you're going to go through a small little bit of forest that has some ghost minotaurs that are fairly easy to avoid. But again, keep to the left. What we're looking for is we're looking for a small gap in the cliff face, and in between the gap, you will see a Site of Grace. Once you get to that site of grace, you carry on and you're going to be doing some rooftop jumping and uh, it's fairly easy to do and the only thing that's really going to get in your way is there's a couple of mimic crossbowmen that might accidentally knock you off if you're not careful, but uh, honestly, not too hard. One thing that is important to remember is that you will need to have a stone sword key in order to access the Mimic Tear Ashes because they are locked behind a stone sword key door. So as long as you have a stone sword key, you can open the door, and here is the aforementioned door. And once you do that, the only thing between you and the ashes is this priest that I definitely, uh, you know, took care of very easily. And uh, because I'm very good at Elden Ring, that's for sure. Anyway, once that's done, all you have to do is open the chest, and there it is, your Mimic Tear Ashes. Unlike most other ashes, the Mimic Tear is different in how you summon it, uh, in that it doesn't require uh, any FP cost. It does, however, have a huge HP cost. That's right, it sucks a huge amount of your health. So you can see here, when I summon it, you can see a good, good chunk of my health bar is used when you summon the Mimic Tear. But, I mean, it's worth it. Look at this guy. I mean, it's just a copy of me that I can use to fight things. How cool is that? Do you have any more tips about the Mimic Tear Ashes? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there!